Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you all have a fantastic day and welcome to a video where basically I review the new skins that are in Fortnite Battle Royale, which is the Hazard Agent, Toxic Trooper and even the new pickaxe which is called the Autocleave. I've had to read that off a script right there, which I normally don't do because I haven't a clue on what the names of these things were. Uh, but in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you what these look like up close in the theatre mode, very professionally, cinematic type uh, kind of things. And uh, just kind of going very close up and showing you all of the little details that the Epic Games team actually added to the suits themselves. Uh, so before we get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this. I'm going to be doing these for pretty much all of the skins. So if you like seeing skins in a very cinematic style and everything, subscribe to the channel guys and I will give you my honest opinion on them. Uh, but anyway, like I said, let's get into it. Talking first off about the Hazard Agent itself. Of course, this is going to be the male variant of the skins and it looks pretty good. Obviously, they're wearing that kind of rubber latex kind of suit to protect them from whatever may be hazardous and it just looks really well. I mean, the glint off the armor or I guess the suit, you know, it looks very rubbery. It looks very realistic. They've also got the back bling, which is the kind of uh, oxygen tank with the radiator kind of thing or radiation kind of stick thing. Now, unfortunately, I know that a lot of you guys like when there's text or images on the bottom of the feet. So when you're skydiving down, it looks pretty cool. Unfortunately with these skins, there isn't actually any of those. So it's very, very basic. It is just brand, basically a brand new skin with kind of like all tubes and everything. But um, like I said, you know, it is a pretty awesome skin. It is really, really cool. It sticks to the very, very rubbery look. I mean, it really does look like if you put water on like the floor or something, you could literally just slip and slide right the way through with this character. Uh, but yeah, it looks very cool. And personally for me, I like the male variants. I know normally I like female variants more than male variants because I think the males look very stupid in the game sometimes. Uh, but this one is definitely great. I love the black and green kind of combo, uh, color kind of variation that's going on. Uh, and obviously it's got hints of like kind of uh, yellow on the wrist, such as the little arrows, as you can see right there, kind of uh, pointing downwards towards his hands. So uh, yeah, it's a very good color scheme. I really, really like it. Now we do switch over to the female variant. As you can see, she is also holding the autocleave pickaxe and... Personally for me, I like the female skin, but I think the reason I don't like it as much as the male one is because of the color scheme. I mean, it's green, it's yellow, and it's black. Mostly green, but the green is very disgusting. I don't like it. Um, but once again, you know, it's a very awesome kind of character style. I like it. I love the way it's got the tubes coming off right here. The butt looks very thick because I know like people like thick butts and everything. So it does look okay, but it's not as good as some of the other skins that we've seen throughout the series of uh, Fortnite itself. Uh, but yeah, it is a cool skin. I love all the details such as the little patches on their arms and also the little canister on the back and everything like that. Um, as for the autocleave pickaxe, I'm not a fan of it. I know it's only 800 V-Bucks, but personally for me, I would say stay away from this pickaxe. It doesn't make any kind of sounds or effects or anything like that. It's basically just a pickaxe that doesn't really do anything. And one thing that really annoyed me is that the little drill end that's on the back of the pickaxe, I would expect that to be on the front because obviously you're picking at stuff, you know? You don't want to smash something, you want to like pick at it, you know? So that really confused me. But once again, you know, it's not a bad skin. Obviously the only animation that you get on these skins is when the wire is moving and jangling on the back bling, and also when the light is actually bleeping on and off. Um, so anyway, my, very, uh, my verdict, yeah, my verdict is if you are gonna buy any of these skins, I would suggest buy the male variant. It is very cool, but I don't think it's worth the V-Bucks that they're actually asking you for. Um, other than that, the glider, I never bought that, hence why it's not in today's video, because I just genuinely didn't like it off the ball. Um, other than that though, the back blend's cool. I love the way it kind of moves around, like the wire and everything like that, and it kind of jangles about with the stick. Um, it just looks kind of cool. I like it. I think it looks badass, and it's definitely a good one if you are a skin collector. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much been it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. A very quick style video, you know, reviewing these skins in a very cinematic style. I like to make it very professional, just like I did back in the day with my Fallout mods videos and everything, where I pan and zoom and everything. So you'll see this for me pretty much every, like, three days whenever new skins come out. So def definitely subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you don't want to miss out on this. And uh, yeah, just have an awesome day. Tell me if you're going to buy these in the comment section below. And until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya. I just farted.
I just farted right at the end. That was brilliant. Yeah, boy. <laughs>